What's up guys, Dr. Feel Good here, back again with another video prescription. <sighs> Let's talk about Capcom, shall we? So I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about the recent Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite announcement. And if you hadn't, let me enlighten you. So they released, they gave us a release date. I think it's sometime in September. I'm not sure if it's September 19th or something like that. I could be wrong, but it's in September this year. So more or less this game is rushed in my opinion. It shouldn't come out until next year to be honest. Two, and the worst part about this recent news is that there's going to be DLC characters. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while and my podcast and just follow me and or the game is a large period, BS Busters, LBC with Liger of in, um, of Induo, um, you would know that I don't like DLC that is announced f way before a game's release date because to me that tells that says one thing that tells me that this is either on disc content or that it's finished and you're going to take it out or hold it back and put it behind a paywall six months away from release five to six months almost and you're announcing I think it was six DLC characters one of which is integral to the actual story I'm sorry I'm not buying this game but let me tell you why but before I tell you why I will say this I'm a huge fan of Capcom I have been since the Super Nintendo back in her heyday I have Street Fighter Alpha 1, 2, and 3 I have Street Fighter Collection on the Sega Saturn I have Marvel vs. Capcom on the Dreamcast. I have Rival Schools on the PlayStation. I have Street Fighter EX. I have Street Fighter 3. Okay? So I'm a big fan of Capcom. I even have the Street Fighter vs. Tekken games. Street Fighter Cross Tekken. This is some BS. First of all, me being an old school gamer, I prefer the unlock as you play method when it comes to characters in a fighting game. You play the game, you play through the campaign or story to unlock the characters. That's just the way it's always been done, with the exception to the 7th and 8th gen. But if you think I'm going to pay for DLC characters that were announced nearly half a year before the game's release, you're out of your damn mind. I'm being very serious. You are out of your mind. If you think I'm going to buy this game, if you think I'm going to purchase these DLC characters and or skins, hell to the no. There is only one way I will buy this game. And that's if the game launches at no more than $40. 
and the DLC characters were no more than maybe 20 bucks for all six. I think there's six. That's it. That's the only way. And I know somebody out there watching this video will be thinking, well, they're confirming more than 30 characters. It's rumored to be more than 30 characters or whatever. I don't care. It won't have a Smash Brothers roster. <laughs> Let's be real. It won't have the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 roster. And me personally, I don't prefer games that have such a large roster. Because then balancing becomes an issue. Too many clones. Too many lookalikes. Too many similar move palettes. But no. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not buying this game. And the only time I will buy it. Besides the scenario I mentioned a few moments ago. Is when they release the inevitable game of the year or ultimate edition that's going to be half the price and include all DLC content for free and if you love Capcom and you're smart you'll wait for that I encourage anyone I don't care if you are a huge fighting game fan and you're you go to competitions and you love Capcom I encourage you <clears throat> do not do not buy this game come September you are essentially telling these publishers that they can give you half a game or they can sell you a game a full game in parts while charging you full price for a part and then charging you full price for another part let's say these six characters are thirty dollars which I think I think that is the price. I could be wrong. That's five dollars a character. Why would I pay five dollars for a digital character? Yeah. Why would I do that? Not gonna happen. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as I always say, keep it gaming.